Hey guys, I'm back with another video and today we are talking about eyelashes. About three years ago I started doing stuff with my eyelashes because naturally they are non-existent so I started by doing eyelash extensions and then I did eyelash perming and now I'm back doing extensions again and so I feel like I have a lot of insight in this field and I know that before I started doing them I watched a lot of YouTube videos to kind of get a feel for what they were like and everything like that so I decided that I'd just make a little video kind of comparing and contrasting eyelash extensions versus eyelash perming. So yeah. And please ignore my really messy hair guys. I just took the top and like all the doors and everything off my Jeep. So I had to take it for a couple of rides. And so my hair is a little windy. But um, yeah. Let's just get into the video. <laughs> okay, so I took a ton of notes on my phone on each of them. And I think I'm just going to break it up like this. So the first half of the video is going to be extensions, everything about extensions. And the second half is going to be everything about eyelash perming. And just to start off this video, I just want you guys to know that all of this is from my own experience. And I know that play other places do things differently, um, different prices, different types of everything. And so I just want you to know like... This is just kind of a rough estimate. I know when I was in California, they did the eyelash perming a lot differently at one of the places that I went to. And so, this is indefinite, guys. This is just my experiences. But all right, let's start with eyelash extensions. So, I currently go to a different person than I went my very first time that I had eyelash, ex eyelash extensions on, but both of them were kind of the same. They just used the basic eyelash extensions and there's different sizes for the curls and lengths of the lashes. So I'm not positive which one's on me right now, but here's kind of a close up. I really like how they look right now. But the thing with the eyelash extensions is if you don't get them done every two weeks or every two and a half weeks, Basically, they can get really um, not the best looking, at least for me. I'm going to insert a picture, you guys. This is really, really cringy, so I'm, I don't even know why I'm showing it. But this is what my eyelashes looked like when I waited three and a half weeks to get them done. I know, they're pretty awful. I can't even understand why I went in public with my eyelashes looking that way. But I did. So just make sure that if you guys want to go with the option of eyelash extensions, that they are, they're high maintenance. And so you have to be prepared to pay for them getting done every two weeks, two and a half weeks, and take the time out of your day to get them done. Cause eyelash extensions take about an hour and a half to do. And that's a really rough estimate. Most times you kind of fall asleep when you're getting them done. I know I do like every single time so it makes the time go by pretty fast but just something to think about if you're like super busy and you don't really have a lot of time on your plate to be like getting your eyelashes done every two weeks because you definitely want to do that or they can look really bad really quick. And then for the prices that I'm paying now, I paid $150 my first time I think and every other time I've been paying 30 bucks to get them refilled. And that's another thing that's very different because I know that my friend Courtney is technically um, in school still for it. So I go through her school to get them done. So I'm pretty sure her price, her rates are a little bit less than normally. So I would say you would expect a little bit higher than $30 every time. And now I want to talk about the maintenance a little bit with eyelash extensions because there is a lot of maintenance with them. Well, to start with, you have to remember to brush your eyelashes like twice a day at least when you wake up, when you go to sleep, after you take a shower, after you get like, basically if you were to go swimming and get all your eyelashes wet and everything, you want to brush your eyelashes right after so they don't get all tangly. And so you have to make sure to brush your eyelashes a lot. And then you also have to just take it into account like everyday activities like you can't like rub your eyes obviously like I know when I'm in the shower I d I'll do that a lot when I don't have them on but <laughs> if you do that you're gonna like pull all of them out basically 
and like when you're sleeping i am a avid stomach sleeper so i can't sleep on my stomach when i have eyelash extensions in which got was really annoying right away but now i'm kind of used to it and what else um so like this is random but like when in your eyes so like whenever i like go like mopeding or like now that i have my doors off my jeep um jet skiing going on the boat or the river like if you're you guys know what I'm trying to say? Like those kind of activities when wind's just like flying in your face or like rides. I went to Valley Fair the other day and this was kind of annoying sometimes. But like when wind like flies into your face, your eyelashes just like feel like they're getting like pulled out because they're so long now. So it's really annoying. So you have to be a little more careful of those kind of activities because you don't want all of your eyelashes to rip out. So like they're a little bit, they're pretty high maintenance. I'm not gonna lie. So they get annoying, but it's, so nice not having just to be able to wake up and not have to put any makeup on sorry my battery was full so i had to change it and so i might be in a little bit of a different position and i don't know if you're like me but sometimes when i didn't have anything on my eyelashes and i try to curl them and then put mascara on they literally fall down right away and still just like look really gross and bad and so it's really nice having my eyelashes always curly and dark now you just never have to worry about it so I really like them for that reason. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna talk about eyelash perming and then at the end come to like, which one I like better and why and just that kind of stuff. Looking up, starlight. So for eyelash perming, it takes about 45 minutes to an hour every time to do them. I know one of the times that I went though, it literally only took 30 minutes. So it's quite a bit um quicker than eyelash extensions every time which i did like that the place that i went for my eyelash perming it was about 70 dollars every time which is um mm, it's i think the place that i went was a little bit higher end but i know there are some good places you go for about 55 bucks too because i went to a place that was about 60 dollars and that those ones were really good too and one of my favorite things about the eyelash perming is that it gives a look of um naturally really curly and long eyelashes and i and it would kind of tint them at the same time too so my eyelashes looked a lot darker and longer and curlier and they're a little more natural looking than um eyelash extensions like i have now but they're also obviously less dramatic because they're they're your natural eyes so you have to put mascara on with your eyelash perming but you don't have to put mascara on if you have extensions so it is a lot of less maintenance wise with the eyelash perming but you don't have to worry about the whole thing with like all the wind and like sleeping on your um sleeping right up front because like in the end they're your natural eyelashes so you just treat them how you naturally would treat them they're definitely like the easier route i would say if you're kind of looking for that kind of thing another plus to eyelash perming is that you don't have to get it done every two weeks like eyelash extensions um, I think I went every month and a half and that was even like I just liked for them to be fully permed every single time but even if you could probably have waited every two months and be just fine but um so that's really nice like not having to carve out time every two weeks and yeah eyelash perming is super quick and I don't know I think it's a really good and simple option for most people but overall if I was to rank both of these I hmm, I don't know, I feel like eyelash extensions for me are more practical in the summertime when I have more free time that I can take the time to get them done and when I usually kind of go for more dramatic looks. But I guess during the school year, I know at college, if you're a college student, I feel like eyelash perming would be a better option just because of the maintenance wise, the price, um, how much time you have to put aside. I just feel like if you're looking for something that's a little less intense i would definitely get your eyelashes permed at least try it one time because i think they look really really good and even if you have really short eyelashes it can make your eyelashes look super long and so that's kind of why i like them and yeah i think that's about it i just wanted to do a short short video comparing eyelash extensions versus perming but i mean right now i'm digging this whole extensions thing but i probably won't keep them on very long you guys just because 
I always I don't try to keep like my nails on too long or my um, eyelashes on too long just because when you do that it kind of kills your actual nails and eyelashes yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any other ideas for videos please let me know and I'll see you guys next week Jello Beats, holla at me.